Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform the AI 3D modeling for your Unreal Engine 5.3, make any of the 3D models that created and generated by the AI to make it become the game assets in your Unreal Engine 5.3 game project. Let your player to interact with the 3D models with proper collision setup, your player can work on all of the 3D models that created by the AI as well. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. The first step, what you need to do is just go to my video description, click into the Genie AI 3D modeling website, click into that, it is going to lead you to the Genie website. Then, this 3D modeling AI website this AI can just generate any of the 3D models according to your prompt. For example, here I just type any of the prompt. I type green there. Then I click create and just wait for a while. This AI is going to create some 3D models, samples that you have prompt. Now you can see the green there already pop out. So as there are more, I'm going to just just choose one of it. Or if you're not satisfied with this, you can just click retry. Then it is going to regenerate some other samples according to the prompt. Right. If you already feel satisfied on one of it, then you can just click and wait for a while. Now it is creating the 3D models in detail, just wait for a while here. And once it's done already, you can see these 3D models already here. And you just need to choose FBX at here, then low resolutions as demo. I'm going to just choose the low resolutions and click download. At this moment, it is going to clean off the mesh. Once it finish cleaning the mesh, it is going to prompt the downloads. You can just click start downloads. Then, actually, the file is very small. Just a glance, it finished downloaded. I click open folder. It is inside the download folder here under my compressed folder. If you don't know where is the download folder, you can just move your mouse cursor down to the file explorer right click on that go to go to the download folder it is inside my compressed folder you can see the green stair it is at here what you need to do is just right click it extract all click extract it is going to extract now you can see you have the diffuse map with the normal map roughness etc so the next step I'm going to show you how to import it into the Unreal Engine 5.3 and also make this 3D model to become the game assets in your Unreal Engine 5.3 game project. As demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new a fresh new game project in Unreal Engine 5.3. I click the game. I'm going to create a third person game project. The project name is my project 15. I click create. All right, now you can see the Unreal Engine 5.3 is creating a fresh new game project and now it is loading. This is a fresh new game project in Unreal Engine 5.3. Right. Once you try to play the game, you can see this is the third person game and this is just a demo. All right. The first step, just go to the window, content browser to turn on the content browser once. Drag and drop to the bottom. Then go to the content. All right. Now, what you need to do is just import the FBX into here. But before that, you need to create a new folder. Name this as green stair 01. Double click, go in. Then back to your 
folder here, rename it properly. The FBX file, you click and press F2. Name this as green stair 01. And then for all of this texture, you also need to just rename it properly. For example, this is metallic, then rename this as green stair 01 metallic. The normal map. Then the diffuse. This is the diffuse, so you can just remove everything. Then name this as diffuse. Then one more, this is metallic. Wait, one more, the roughness. Rename it properly systematically. Alright, next. Just drag in the green stair into here. This is to import the FBX. You can just skip the skeleton mesh. This is no need. You just need the static mesh. Click OK to import all and close. Now you can see you have this stair. I already drag it into here. The material is not just set up. I can just press R. Then I make it bigger. Like this. I can move it to anywhere. Like this. Alright. So next we are going to set up the, the material. To set up the material, you have to just right click to create a new folder here, name this as material and press enter. Then for, for these four textures, just drag and drop into here. You can see all of this texture already imported with the corresponding name, green star 01 diffuse, metallic, normal and roughness. Then back to the green star. You can see this is the materials that related to the green star 01. So you can just click the green star 01, press F2 and copy the file name. Then at here, press F2, replace the base so that the file name will just become the green star 01 material. This is exactly the material that related to the green star. Double click it. Then Next, you can just delete this parent. Click and press the delete button to delete it. Then open the material folder. Just select all of this. Control A to select all. Drag and drop into here. Next, we are going to connect it one by one. The first one is the base color. The base color is exactly the diffuse. So drag and drop the R RGB to the base color. And for this one, this is the normal. Drag and drop to the normal. Then this one is the roughness. Roughness is at here. Drag and drop the RGB to the roughness. And the final one is the metallic. Metallic is here, drag and drop. Then at this moment, click save and minimize it. Now you can see your stair already have a proper material setup. If you try to play, now you can see you still cannot open, you still cannot enter the stair. You cannot go to the stair just because of you not yet set the collision properly. To set the collisions, just press escape first. Back to the green stair 01. Then open the green stair static mesh. We need to set the material. Scroll down here until you see the collisions. Expand the collision. The collision preset is here. So the collision presets, this one should be block all. 
and the collision complexity you have to change it to use complex collision as simple then click save close now with that again try to play you can see now your player already can interact with with your stair now your player already can interact with the 3D models that are generated by the AI. You can see it interact perfectly. Try to play. Look at the player's foot. Now you can see it really have a complex collision interaction with the player. It is really awesome. At the beginning, you are just using the AI. To generate any 3d model and through this tutorial i already show you the step by step how to import this ai generated 3d model into the unreal engine 5.3 and make it become a game asset in your unreal engine 5.3 game project finally i also show you how to make make it have a complex collision so that your player avatar can interact with this 3d model you can work on that all your npc can interact with it as well all right that's all for today about my tutorials of how to perform the ai 3d modeling for your unreal engine 5.3 make it become a game asset with collision setup and your player can interact with it that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!